So one question that comes up about fasting are what are some of the common nullifiers? What are some of the things that will break our fast? Well, we know generally everybody accepts and knows that eating food and drinking water will break our fast. But there are other things too that will break our fast. Before I mention some of these things, the important thing to remember is that when we do any act of worship, we should be doing this on sound knowledge. As part of our tradition, we know that we have to have knowledge before action. Al-ilmu qabl al-amal, knowledge has to precede action. So before you begin any act of worship or any act of interaction, you should learn those rules before you implement them. So this is an encouragement and a reminder and hopefully a motivation for you to begin the preparation of this month of fasting by reviewing the rules of fasting. What are the things that break the fast? What are the pillars of fasting? What are the things you can do? What are the things you can't do? Well, some of the common nullifiers, and this is a question that we commonly get, is can I take medication while I'm fasting? Can I use my inhaler while I'm fasting? Can I take a medical injection while I'm fasting? And if we look at the books of fiqh, and there's differing opinions amongst the schools of thought and the the books of law in regards to what does and what does not break the fast, but there are valid opinions that injections do not break the fast. And in terms of medication, and the reason why the injections don't break the fast is because it goes into the bloodstream and not into the stomach. In terms of medication, if you have to swallow a pill, that's going to the stomach, and so that would nullify, it would break the fast. And in terms of the inhalers, if it's going to the lungs, some of the jurists, contemporary jurists who have looked at this have said that it does in fact break the fast. I have also heard others who say that it does not. The important thing is for you to go to the books and to the teachers you trust and ask them about your specific situation. But what I'll also remind us is that if you're taking medication that is reaching the stomach, It will break the fast, and you shouldn't feel compelled that you have to fast. We find in the Qur'an, Allah is telling us, God is telling us that if you're sick, if you're ill and you're not able to fast, then you should not, then you do not have to fast. And so you don't have to fast. Now, if the fasting will harm you, then you definitely don't have, then you definitely not only don't have to fast, you should not fast because worship is about getting you closer to God, not about harming yourself. And so if in the process of this worship you might harm yourself, then you forego that. As an example, we know that if using water will harm you, then you move to tayammum, to the dry ablution. So in the same way, when we fast, if fasting will harm us, then we should uh, avoid it. And this is also another reminder to those who might not have the health to fast, that this month of Ramadan is not only about fasting. There's many, many other things that you can do in terms of worship and charity and interacting on the best terms with other people to get the full reward out of this month. And we'll talk about some of the other ways that you can bring this month to life through worship. But if you're thinking that it's only about fasting and you're going to harm yourself, review and look again at your understanding of what we're supposed to be doing in this month. This month is also the month of the Qur'an and connecting with the Book of Allah. So there's a lot of other ways that you can you can bring this month to life. But again, in terms of injections and medications and inhalers, I just mentioned a few of the, the, the general opinions. I strongly encourage you to review the rules of fasting. And if you do have a specific need for the use of inhalers or medications or um, injections, review with your local scholars, with your teachers, reach out to them and bring this month to life through actual study of how we perform the fast. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.